Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is Friday. September 18th. Sorry, of course my cat is on the table. So I'm going to save a lot today. And I spent $151.09. I started another video, but uh, I had to cancel it. So this is, this is the second time I'm uh, recording this. Just so you know. All right, so last time I started with the cold stuff. This time I'm starting with the dry stuff. So I was very happy to see that they had those two things of disinfectant wipes. They're $3.99 each. This is my pile of bags. Um, <laughs> yes, I use, I've always, I've always used the, uh, not always, but once they started selling them, I've been using them, the reusable bags. All right, so those were $3.99 each. I'm very happy. They had them, and there are 75 wipes in there, so that's pretty good, since you can't find any, any anywhere else. So I thought I'd try their toilet paper since I was there. That was oh, this is the problem here. I keep losing. There's really a. Uh, And I'd hate to keep stopping and going and stopping and going just to, to get the video done. But, um... Yeah, we'll come back to the toilet paper. I think it was two twenty nine, Something like that. So I figured I would try it. Can't hurt, right? Yes, two twenty nine. Uh, okay. So I've been seeing people haul this stuff, and you'll see in the next part of once I'm done with all the dry stuff why I bought this. So this is two hundred milligrams of sodium for two tablespoons. Not too too horrible. Um, but I make my own tortillas anyway. And that was to something. You'll see a lot of, uh, oh yeah, yeah, two twenty nine. So I decided to get some pickles, and they were a dollar fifty nine for Vlasic bread and butter, twenty four ounces. For three pickles, three chips, three chips, it's 170 milligrams of sodium. I don't eat pickles very often, but I felt like having them, so. And the relish, the only relish that they had in the store was $1.29 for 16 ounces. But I want to show you something. How many farmers do we have in this country? How many farmers do we have in this country? And this is a product of Vietnam. 140 milligrams of sodium for a one ounce serving. I doubt I use that much. I use like a little tiny bit for egg salad. Okay. Picked up their peanut butter. That has 125 milligrams of sodium. It was... It's supposed to be like Jif, I guess. Um... What was that? A dollar or something. You know, when I put everything on the, the belt, as a dollar thirty nine. When I put everything on the belt, I had it separated by cold stuff and produce and canned stuff, but didn't get rung up that way. I'm just saying. <laughs> Boy, I'm complaining today, huh? All right. So I picked up a thing of corned beef, okay, which was two ninety nine for the can, which is a product of Brazil. 
What I don't understand, okay, the corned beef itself has 490 milligrams of sodium in it. When you buy the corned beef hash, it's like 900 milligrams of sodium. And they're only supposed to be adding potatoes. Potatoes do not have 500, 400 milligrams of sodium in them. I don't get that. Anyway, I thought I was picking up four cans of peas. No salt added peas. But I ended up picking up three. And they were 59 cents a can. Thought I was picking up four cans of corn. No salt added corn. Ended up picking up five. <laughs> Accidentally. Um, and that was 49 cents a can. Moving along, I picked up their ginger ale. So I just want to show you that everything has sodium in it. Everything. Surprisingly, that's not bad. Only 20, 20 milligrams of salt per serving. That's really not too bad. That was 89 cents, but here we have to also give them a 5 cent deposit. See that? 5 cent bottle deposit. And that was 89 cents. Isn't that weird? The deposit weight is way up there, and here's the thing. Deposit thing. So when we buy a 24 pack of water, it's five cents per bottle. Per bottle. Just saying. So these looked really good because I had a bagel for breakfast, and that was it. Made in Italy. I'm fine with that. Uh, 19 milligrams of sodium per piece. I guess there's six pieces in here. Not too bad. That was pricey though. Uh, I tell you, I'll have to say, say that. That was pricey. I'm thinking it was like three something, three ninety nine, Something like that. Yeah, three ninety nine. Where is it? Let's see it. Cannoli cookie. Pricey, but what are you going to do? They don't have a bakery bakery. So I picked up this, which of course is high in sodium, 230 milligrams, but I do make my own biscuits and I wouldn't, I would use that separate or you can make this, you could use this for like chicken fried steak or whatever, really. Um, that was like something like 45 cents, some kind of ridiculously low price. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the cucumber. Anyway, take my word for it. It was cheap. Um, I can't find it. Oh, Pioneer Gravy, 99 cents. I'm sorry. 99 cents. This... Bumblebee tuna, I was surprised only 270 milligrams of sodium for the whole pouch. I thought that was kind of really cheap. I mean, I would eat it like straight out of there. I wouldn't eat, put it on bread or anything. And I think that was 99 cents. There's really not much on here that's 99 cents, so how I can miss it. Yeah, 99 cents. Okay, so they have their diced tomatoes, no salt added, in tomato juice, 15 milligrams of sodium, and that's what I use for chili. I picked up four cans of those, and they were 59 cents each. I picked up three cans of the no salt added tomato sauce, 10 milligrams of sodium. And three, let's see, they were 29 cents each. And I picked up two of the tomato paste, um, which is 20 milligrams. Um, two, where are you? Oh, 
39 cents each. Now these are up there even for reduced sodium, 410 milligrams. But it's good to have it in the house to throw something together, like in your crock pot. Um, they were, I think, 59 cents. Yeah, 59 cents. Never tried it before, but they don't have Campbell's, and Campbell's is up there anyway. That's 410, so. All right. And we got that. Their red potatoes for a five pound bag was $1.99, which was awesome. Because the regular price was $3.99. That's pretty good. Now, well, they had this, which I was so happy to see that. You have no idea. Because I really, truly love collards. 15 milligrams of sodium, three servings per can. These were pricey. I believe I picked up four. They were $1.29 each. But that's okay. I really love collards. So for me, it's worth the $1.29. Um, this was interesting. 190 milligrams of sodium. But I could, like I said, I can make my own tortillas. It was pretty reasonably cheap. It was... A dollar ninety-nine each. So that's pretty good. Okay, I'm going to go back to the... Okay, this is diced peaches. Okay. 100% fruit juice. Product of China. How many peach farms are there? Okay, so I got this can, 70 milligrams of sodium, 15 ounces. And it was a dollar forty nine. Okay. Now this can twenty nine ounces. Product of USA. 65 milligrams, and these are seasoned. Go figure. Did I say 29 ounces? I believe it was 209. And I said, well, you know, for the extra 60 cents, yes, 209. For the extra 60 cents, I might as well get the extra 14 ounces. Picked up a bag of egg noodles. There's only 20 milligrams of sodium in them. They, I believe, are 99 cents as well. I'm trying not to make this video too long. Yes, 99 cents. I picked up this brand, their brand of Frosted shredded wheat, five milligrams of sodium. Now, I honestly prefer the Aldi brand. I haven't tried these, I don't think. But I'm not able to get to Aldi just yet. So these will suffice for the moment. They were... And of course, my phone's going to ring. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. So these were $1.99, the shredded wheat. The cream of wheat was 3 dollars 
which I, I can't find it anywhere else. Or maybe I haven't been picking it up because it's that pricey. But $3.99? I guess because it's a bigger box. But the bad thing about cream of wheat, so I don't eat it a lot, is 100 milligrams of sodium. But I really do enjoy cream of wheat. And instant rice, which normally I don't eat. Honestly, sometimes I do. I have to be really lazy to do that. That was... Um, $2.59. I guess that's not bad for that size box. All right. Oh, and the hamburger buns were 89 cents, I think. I don't know. I think they're 89 cents. But uh, so when I make a burger, right? So 180 milligrams of sodium for the bun. That's the most, that's right here. This and cheese, depending on the cheese, is the most sodium. I will be back once I get the table cleaned off and the cold stuff back on it. I'll be right back. 